you know, last week was one of the hardest weeks um, you could ever put a, a, you know, a student athlete in as far as close losses and just gut wrenching. And um, you know, the resiliency that this group showed, our staff, everybody around the program, the harder it gets, the harder we go. Um, it's about your response. Um, I think really taught me a lot about who they are today. And if that's not an exclamation with their effort and energy, um, I'm not sure what is. So I'm just really proud of these kids, their resiliency, their toughness. The ability to not look back and look forward says a lot about um, who they are as people. Because the first quarter, y'all come out six for six on three-pointers, 12 of 18 shooting, 12 to four rebounding advantage, and only three turnovers. What was the statement y'all wanted to make tonight just coming right out of the gate like that? Just a sense of urgency to get the win. You know, we feel like we've had a couple of moments where maybe we didn't have, um, you know, the execution we wanted on both ends of the floor um, headed in the right direction, and I thought our kids really came out and executed. Um, anytime you make shots, it makes it look a lot better. Um, making shots cures a lot. And um, But I love the way we shared the ball, rebounded the ball, defensively how active we were, and – uh, it was just a great effort by our team today. Your team was a lot more productive in today in today's game rather than in the last two games. What was different in the way y'all played today rather than in the games against Tennessee and Texas A&M? I don't think it was anything different. You know, um, obviously we made a few more shots, but guys, I mean Tennessee's really good and Texas A&M's really good. Those are two top 15 programs in the country. And, um, you know, we, we've lost to some really good teams. Um, we beat a good team today who's saddled with a lot of injuries. Uh, we were injured a year ago. Um, it does impact. It does matter. But it wasn't about anything Vandy did today. It was about who we needed to be. And all I ask this team to do is, is to be who they are and not worry about the past and just turn the disappointment into positives. I mean, that's going to be a life lesson. So we're not going to look back. We're just going to look forward. And, um, just love who they're trying to be today. I think our bench played better. Anytime Brittany and Daisha, Sierra come off the bench and shoot the ball and score the ball and play within themselves the way they did, good things are going to happen. So, um, you know, our bench hasn't been very good. And that's hurt us in the last couple of games at times. And they were really good today. And their role is just as important as a starter. And so there were just so many positives for today. But to come out and defend your home court on a Sunday when it's really easily to get distracted because so many people are in town. I just love the, who our team was today and who they've been all week. Uh, for the players, what, what does this do for y'all moving forward? What kind of momentum does this give y'all? Um, I would just say you have to take it game by game. You can't look in the past. You can't change anything that's happened in the past. And so I think you have to take what you've learned in those games, especially down the stretch. I don't think that we made more plays than the other team did in the past two games. And so I think today we're able to translate kind of those details and make them into bigger statements overall throughout the game. Just to pick up back off Jordan, what she said, like details, we got to concentrate on our details and go back into practice every day and work hard, come back out and play every game like it's our last game. I do want to thank our crowd for coming out to support We Back Pat. Um, and today was our initiative with Callie's Place as well. So what a great crowd today. A lot of little girls in the stands. Um, it really meant a lot to our team, so we hope everybody will come back out on a Thursday night. We really need a great home crowd against a really good Arkansas team ranked in the top 20. Coach, I have one more question. This, I don't know if y'all you were aware of it, uh, kind of broke during the game. Uh, can you comment on the death of Kobe Bryant today? You know, about 30 seconds before I walked out, um, was told that, and I think it's a little girl who was taken to a basketball game. And, you know, there's so many more important things than – you know, a win today, and I think that really puts that in perspective. And I appreciate so much, like, what he's done for women's sports. And, you know, he has daughters. And just, just to see how he supported the WNBA, those are thoughts that came to my mind. But to be taking his little girl to play sport and uh, that to happen, but our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family. It's just a really, really sad day for basketball. And I just didn't want our kids to know because so many of our kids really look up to him. And he's been in some of our pregame videos um, every day before we walk out. We put together our theme for the game today was play hard and play smart. And it's a motivational. It's got music and maybe a WNBA player, NBA, or some of our former players, um, John Gordon. We've just used a number, and Kobe's been in some of those here lately. And um, I know it's going to really touch our team. And we all need to continue to help the game of basketball grow and impact it the way he has in a positive way.